Hey all, I'm Doug. Slid uh Rose Game Shampoo, and welcome back to the Pokemon Blue Kaizo Let's Play. Time to finish with the uh, Saffron City. All I got left is the gym. And to get to the gym, nope, I need both Humperdinck and Char. I mean, like in the original game, you didn't have to do this kind of combination. Oh, wow. I don't know why I got surprised. Stepping through the door caught me in a fight. What? Stepping through the door caught me in a fight. Ah. I took a little time, leveled up the team. So, half the team 75, the other half is 80. Ooh, that's not good. So, that introduces a 50 50 chance Charles hurt himself. Problem that the haunter had is Char didn't hurt himself. Actually, no, Char will stay in. <sighs> Char stays in for Slash. Right, Char is confused. I need to rotate up Char. Confusion can only be healed by a specific berry, which doesn't exist in this generation, or by using a full heal. There's only two ways to cure confusion in battle. Ah, and all I have access to is swap them. Down you go, Mr. Mime, down you go. Alright, Chandler, done. Yep. But. Mm hmm. Yep. That indeed does happen. Oh, are you kidding me? Short of me like being absurdly proactive, that was gonna happen. Oh dear. <laughs> well, try our time for slash, and yeah, I hope it does the trick. Alright, so that's gonna hit Char from neutral. I said. Okay, time for, uh, time to deploy a level 80. Alrighty, uh, Thunderbolt. Down you go, Lapras, down you go. I'm probably going to be grateful that I got some of them up to 80. Hmm. Okay, well, time for the gimmick of uh, this gem. Which is... Uh, there are four teleporters in every room. I need to find the right sequence to get through the gym. Ah, Executor. Followed by Nice. Hmm. <sighs> well, good news, I can fry him quick. I like that. Yes, I'm changing to Eric. <laughs> I had to make sure my starter was a decent level. You know? 
Well, it also helps Eric's a pretty good fighter, so... I can use them a fair bit. Now let's go Pimp Daddy. <sighs> Dig. Huh. I did not expect it to live. Hold on, Pimp Daddy. Ah, that was a crit. Alright, Char, you got this. We must avenge Pimp Daddy. We can get him up. Here's where I realize, right, I've been terrible about actually having revives on hand. I need to quick return to the Poké Center. Well, yeah, you just played to the weakness of them. Alright, let's see where this goes. Yeah, I know I was just talking about like going and healing. Here I go, just charging into the next battle. There are times my impulse control could use a little work. Now, this is after me having put some good effort into it. Alright, use Mr. Mine. No, Char can stay out. Char's got the raw fighting power I'm after. Ah, oh, man, I wish I had a metronome. That item increases the power of an item. No. That item increases the power of a move more times it's used in sequence. I know there's a limit to it. But hey, it's something I slapped on my, yeah, on a jolty on a mine. And then I built them to just be focused on, okay, let's buff the crap out. Well, you know, being dead serious. Seriously, don't mess around with a uh, jolty on with charge beam and metronome. There we go. Down you go. Ha ha. Okay. Try to use a little, uh, healing. Suppose I... Nope. No, I don't. Yeah. No, I don't want Pimp Daddy, like, send out these fights. Pimp Daddy's Pimp Daddy. The way Pip Daddy's kind of become like the icon of this. Oh my god, the icon is a Doug Trio. <laughs> I love it. Alright, everyone's looking good. That time I just didn't follow the right, uh, well, mental sequence. Go. Over. Oh. Uh. Do the water. Pump a dank surfs. Char gets us through. In we go. Okay, yeah. Char is now. Now, uh, second on the list. Okay, yeah, I have talked to you. Well, good news is I don't have to actually, like, go and find the trainer in the room to actually fight him. I take that as a bonus. Alakazam. I'm noticing a trend, uh, with the levels. 
I am good with this trend. I also know what I'm calling this episode, even though it's, uh, well, frankly, the wrong number. Yeah. Eh. I'm not gonna worry much about it. Down you go, Starmie. Hmm, that's how much you get. Starmie are good. And base, red, blue, Starmie are fast, which means they've got a high crit. And they got a decent special, which means they can actually tank a special hit. Yeah, yeah, I know. Keep talking about it. <sighs> huh, for well, once I didn't just get teleported into where the fight is. You know, for a brief moment I thought that this channeler, no, this psychic just wanted to talk. Then the battle started. Okay, I don't think I need to worry about an ice move from Mr. Mime. Doesn't matter, because he's fainted. There we go. Hmm. I might actually just need to do a little thing and make some notes. Uh, to be fair, most of the time I just kind of stumble my way through and that tends to work pretty well. But... <sighs> That's not always how I do things. Oh yeah, I got that project. I can work on that next. Okay. You know, if uh, I possess a little better technological acumen, I could actually display this. But I'm not that good at it. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure how to best approach doing that. Okay, so... Yeah. This... This is how I start dealing with things. I don't know how visible that is. I got this tiny little preview. But I've made a 3x3 three three grid. And which is very representative of you know, what I'm after. Alright. So all these rooms have four teleport squares with two exceptions. Now that is where you come in and where Sabrina is. Where you come in only has one missed out the gate. I think Sabrina also only has one. But all the others have four. So now in my 3x3 three three grid, I've put one square in the room where I start. And I'm now going around and the rooms where it isn't the exception. 
and putting squares there. So, it's going to be. Yeah, the first one just became yeah, number one. That that's my base. So two, three, four, five. All right, let's let's approach this the best way I know how methodically. You ever wonder how a game right you know, someone writing a guide approaches something like this? Well, you're about to see. Now, there are a number of ways to do this. Ooh. And then I realized I didn't finish everything. There we go. So, honestly, I'm going to take the approach I saw way back in the day in the original guide. Now, there, the ways you can do this include using multiple colors to link, you know, the your start point and your destination point. You can use notation, you know, one, two, three, four, which is what I'm using, and once you know where you're landing, you put the corresponding number. That way, you know, it's nice and easily marked. There we go. Thought I heard one of my kitty boy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, there's just one. One brings me here. I previously noted as five. All right, now that one I noted as three. So three goes here. Mind, this only works really if it's a direct one-to-one. -one. If stepping on it a second time brings you somewhere else, then you hit like one A and stuff like that. Okay, so this one I've got labeled as two. Two puts me up here. Alright, and lastly, four. Four puts me here. So, thus far, No, I don't have anything resembling a sequence yet. Alright. So, yeah, I can approach this any number of ways. Okay. So, I'm going to go at things from three. So, that means you now five. And that connects oh, no. like that. Four, five. Okay, so let's go to six. No, oh, which one was that? My brain decided to shut down that. Ah, uh, okay. That makes sense. Six. Alright. Six goes here. Honestly, I could have just broken it into a grid when I really take a good look at it. Because it all just corresponds very, very neatly to places. Alright, that's seven. Alright, let's go to what is now eight. All right, so next is nine. Start with the top left. And then that connects to the top right, bottom right. Nine. All right, all 
down to 10. Believe it or not, I've only got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 left at this point. Uh, 10, put me here. Mostly as long as I've got my point of origin, I'm pretty good. Alright, uh, let's go to the one directly above me, that is now number 11. Uh, it's brought me over one room. Alright, I'll use that one there to get 12. And yes, in a way, I am literally just going through this in the process of elimination. Okay, yeah, now there's only one left in this room. We're now 13. Alright, 13. And again, there's only one left in this room. Now that becomes 14. Which pops me here. Now, there's only one left. That is 15. Well, 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 well. She's younger than I, but I respect her. There we go. Simply by futzing around and making a nice little chart, I figured out where I wanted to... Oh my god. Oh boy, once in, doesn't he? Oh boy. Uh, that won't stop him. No. Hey, <sighs> little, little boy. Yeah, go spend time with your mama. Mm hmm. There you go, hit now. Alright. Huh. Alright. Of course, now I'm like taking a little time with this completed map and going like, all right, how does this all work? So one, two, the fourteen to fifteen. Wow. That really wasn't that bad. No, I was just figuring out how to approach things. That took the time. And that's also why, you know, I'll... I will occasionally do stuff like this. It just makes it easier for me to track, like, where I've gone, what I've done, stuff like that. The inner burn paralyze heal. All right, Dwayne's ready. Let's give you a little lemonade. No, no, that is hyper potion territory. Now, if it was like thereabouts of a hundred, I consider more than lemonade. Hyper potion is for anything over a hundred. It's just more efficient. You know? Okay, back to take on... Yeah. No. Time for Pimp Daddy. Pimp Daddy starts. It's like fighting, but if you wish, I will show you my powers. 
here we go. For the first time in a, quite a while. Well, wait, no, it hasn't been that long. Well, yeah, she's the second to last gym leader. So I'm coming up on the end of this game. <laughs> well, eh, I'll need to do a little research because I do want to at the very least catch Mew and Mew too. Yeah, you gotta have goals. I want to learn how to catch Mew and Mew too. What the actual crap? Pink Daddy shouldn't have dropped that hard that fast because of that. Body slam time. Well, I'm predicting 76. Wow, that power. Slow rope. Nope. I'm predicting it's gonna stay in. And use that brute force. Oh. Hmm. Smart. Very smart. <sighs> Man. Eh, yeah, Humperdinck's got this hit. Yep, Humperdinck had that hit. They tanked it like a champ! Yes, it's time to switch. Humperdinck's a little too banged up now. No, that's a bad idea. That's a decent idea. I'm looking for at least decent. Alright, Hypno. You and me. You and me. Thunderbolt! Now, lift works from special, so that's not. That shouldn't do as much damage. Still have to worry about the special drops, though. Down you go. Yes, let's switch. Time for char. Fire Blast. It is way more accurate here. I don't think it's as powerful. Usually you trade power for accuracy and accuracy for power. That to you, Starmie. Yes, I will change. Lift! Oh yeah, it's Lift or Eric. I trust Lift more. Because Starmie can have Ice Beam. Ice Beam is bad against, you know, a grass type. Grass does not like ice. You know, frost kills plants. Have to use Alkazam. Will I switch? No. Lift stays in. Time for the surprise double edge. There it is. However, I know a second double edge is gonna do the trick. There we go. Yes. Shocked. But a loss is a loss. I admit I didn't work hard enough to win. You earned the Marsh Badge. Alright, you got a fair chunk of change for winning, I'm good with that. Marsh Badge makes Pokemon up to level 70 obey you. Okay, all my Pokemon are over level 70. Uh, some of your Pokemon will become wild, ignoring your orders of battle. Just don't raise your Pokemon too much. Wait, please take this DM with you. 46. What is 46? Sigh wave. It might be powerful. Well, it can be powerful. Okay. So, 15 to 14 to 
to a one. Boom. And we're clear. I like it. Ah, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, time to just head to my next destination and patch up the crew. we got to be ready and all. And next time, I'm taking on Giovanni. See what that fight's going to be like. Might need to do a little more grinding, get everyone into their 80s. Or at least up around 80. Yeah. I'll see. We will see. Just checking here for various supplies. Book of Alls are cheap. Not, not much here. But yeah. Well, I've been Doug Set of Rose. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe to keep up to date on this series, The Skyrim. And the soon-to-be-concluded Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered Let's Play. Just like one or two episodes there. At any rate, toss a coin for your gamer. See you all next time. Peace.